Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Today we're going to build a cheap and easy siphon system so I can drain down the water level in the pond so I can fix it. Now I'm going with a two inch system and you don't need all this stuff. It just makes it a little bit easier. I got a check valve here and a ball valve. I'm going to put some of it together up here and then we'll take it down to the pond, finish assembly and get it running. All right, I got most of it assembled up here at the building. We'll take it down to the pond, finish putting it together, and get the water running. So what we have put together here is kind of the middle of the system. Uh, but this is the inlet side down here. I got a 22 and a half. That'll go down into the water. We've got a check valve. This is where you're going to charge the system right here. You'll pour water into this. And this is the outlet end down here. Oh, and always make sure your check valve is pointed in the right direction. Outlet. Your flow is going this way. All right, so we're down here at the pond. What happened was this. We had about five inches of rain the other day, and the standpipe, it got all plugged up, and the water ran over the dam. We almost lost the entire pond. There's this big erosion channel right here. So I'm going to use the siphon system to drain the water level down so I can make repairs. I've got a ball valve at the discharge end. It's closed. We're going to go up top and fill the system to prime it. Then we'll come back down and open up the ball valve and the water should be ripping out of there. All right, we got it filled up. Make sure this is on tight. You don't want any air getting in there. All right, open up the ball valve. We should be moving water. Got a real nice flow out of it. That has to be 100 gallons a minute at least. But anyway, if you're into the finer things in life, like sawmills and firewood and excavating and cabins in the woods, ponds, subscribe for more. We'll catch you on the next one.